We're with Darius Puar, the uh, junior safety for the Demons, and a guy who keeps making plays for the Demon defense. Uh, Darius, first of all, tell us about the homecoming game from a defensive perspective, uh, a new scheme, a new look, uh, not only with how you guys lined up, but how you guys made a bunch of plays. Talk about it. Uh, yes, sir. We definitely we made a bunch of plays Saturday night. We really worked hard that bye week getting ready for this week, man. We really needed a win. And we're just going to keep taking it one game at a time. But, yeah, it's a new scheme. Kind of simplified for us, allowed us to play faster, just free our mind and free our feet, and we're able to get out there out there. Um, talk about the change in mentality as well as the alignment during the open date week and, and what all led up to the performance you guys put out there on Saturday night. We've been really, really close uh, from what I saw just looking in. From, to be on five, the way we just stuck together and just kept working and just kept fighting throughout the bye week, throughout the week leading into this homecoming game. Guys just stuck together. And we knew we, we, knew we could get this one. It's just going to take us to put a whole game together, and we just got it. Now that you've gotten the one win, what does that mean to you guys here with the last five games of the year? Once you get the first one, we're on to the next one. We're going to keep taking it one game at a time, and we'll see what happens from there. But it's all about McNeese right now. And McNeese to you is uh, kind of the home stomping grounds. Uh, you yes, had sir. the Raging Cajuns early in the year. Now you got the Cowboys not far from Ville Platte. Yeah. Uh, a pretty intense weekend for you, I guess. It's going to be a pretty intense weekend. Uh, my cousin Aaron Sam, he was a defensive back there last year. He graduated. So, yeah, you know, our families, they, they go at it. Some pull for the Demons, some pull for the Cowboys. But they'll all be in attendance this week. All right, let's talk about uh, – as one of the older veteran guys on this defense, uh, how did uh, you guys all come together and play so well throughout the game? You know, you gave up a lot of yards to Kate Harrington, who's a great running back, but uh, time after time when there had to be a stop made, you guys made it. Yeah, uh, we tip our hat to number eight. He's, a, he's real tough. He's a tough guy to tackle. He's a great competitor. But all week we talked about just taking it one play at a time, one possession at a time, one drive at a time. And if we could win those individual battles each play, we knew we'd give ourselves a chance to make big plays, and that's what happened Saturday. As you were standing on the sidelines watching the offense, that also had to encourage you. Oh, as yes, those sir. guys kept turning up yards and lighting up the scoreboard. They were clicking, and we knew it was coming uh, from the bye week and on the practice that week. They were looking great, and I'm like, I can feel it. It's going to be this game. They're going to have a good game. We're going to all put it together, and we got a win out of it. Now you are, as you've said, very familiar with um, NSU McNeese. Talk about the rivalry first and the challenge with this year's team second. Yes, sir. Uh, McNeese has had our number over the, over the last few years, and I wouldn't call it a rivalry anymore because they've, you know, last few years has been lopsided. But we're looking to even that up a little bit by getting a, a good win this Saturday, and we're definitely looking forward to the challenge. Okay. Offensively, they've got uh, uh, an explosive quarterback, and – uh, as always, McNeese does a lot of good things and puts up uh, a lot of points. What about the defense for the Demons? How do you approach this game? Uh, we approach this game just like we approach any other game. We're going to study the film, prepare hard, practice hard, and we trust in our coaches that we'll have a good scheme ready for this weekend. Okay, Ville Platte, how far is it from Lake Charles? Uh, about an hour and 30 minutes maybe. Yeah. How many tickets do you have to come up with? <laughs> as a story, every game for me, I try. I set a goal of getting maybe 20, 25 tickets for, you know, most of the games. But this game is going to be around 25, 30 tickets. I might not be able to get all of them, but, you know, I'll, I'll work at getting them. Yeah. How, much, uh, how many of the guys on the McNeese team do you know and do you have any contact with them this week? Uh, I know one that's still on the team. Uh, he's a cornerback. I played against him in high school for Lauraville. He, when he came out from high school, he went to TCU, and he transferred over to McNeese. Uh, his name is Jermaine. So, yeah, I know him pretty well, and that's the only one I know on the team right now. Okay, so you won't have to deal with some texts and tweets and that sort of stuff <laughs> this week then. Nah. Okay, well, we'll just enjoy being 1-0 uh, and o, uh, in October yes, in Louisiana and see if you can go 2-0 and o on Saturday night. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Darius.